Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna do a quick little haul video of an item that arrived from Poshmark for me today. I had some Posh credits that were unexpected from the Posh headquarters where they authenticate handbags, damaged and shipped a bag damaged to me. Um, and so <laughs> they really messed up. So I had some credits from Poshmark. And for the last few weeks, I've been just kind of scouring what I want to do with those credits. It's not like they expired, but I was just in like a shopping mood and I was just kind of excited that I had something else to spend because the bag, I'm just living with like the flaw that it now is going to have to live with. But um, I loved it so much that I decided not to return it and just take the credits that they offered. Um, and since the beginning of the pandemic, I've really been, I like started picking up my old Tiffany jewelry and it's like it's 2006 in my head and I can't stop wearing my Tiffany and Kojols, um, especially the more nostalgic pieces. So I did break my favorite lock necklace from my parents during the pandemic, trying to clean it. It was a little, I guess, too aggressive trying to get some tarnish off and I should have just taken it to a professional cleaner. But uh, like I kind of broke it where you open the lock and so I need to schedule with Tiffany and figure out all of that jazz and fixing and repairing it. So I don't know, I was just in the mood for something Tiffany and I was thinking maybe like a little trinket dish or something to hold these Tiffany pieces that I love so much that is sort of iconic of Tiffany and you know, get like a ceramic Tiffany box. I kept seeing those kind of pop up sporadically and there's a lot of them on different sites, both eBay, Mercari and Poshmark and probably a lot of other places and antique shops online. And they range from um, very affordable to really, really high depending on the condition. And I think they also come in a few different sizes. Um, I did not anticipate this item to be quite as small as it arrived as I'm like someone who needs to see something in person where you can give me measurements like all day and I still need to see it and hold it in person to kind of get a real life view. And I don't know, I'm, I'm quite odd in that way. I can't like just take measurements and, and understand in my head. But so I don't know that it's gonna work out this trinket dish that I purchased from Tiffany, well, it's Tiffany & Co, but I purchased it from Poshmark. I don't know that I will be able to use it in the manner that I wanted to use it in. Um, so there's that, but this is one of those purchases where I'm like, Mel, you should have just bought the Lisa Frank vintage lunchbox that you wanted and not this, but it is super cute. I just wish it was bigger and I would have waited and, and paid more, a little more money for maybe a bigger one that would have came on the market because I did find one on eBay, but it was like three times the price I paid for this one. So anyways, it came in this vintage Tiffany & Co box. The box arrived a little more beat up than pictured and it looked larger in the pictures than it is. But again, that's probably my fault for not paying more attention. So it's a little, I mean, this is expected. It's just the box. She did say it had wear. Um, it's still functional. This actually might work better for what I wanted to use it for, like the actual trinket dish. Um, so I am gonna keep this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna store jewelry in it or just take it to work and like put some notepads in there. I don't know, cause it's kind of cute. Um, and I can always fix and glaze over the box and make it nicer over the years if I wanted. Um, so it came in this box and this is the little item that I purchased, which is in perfect condition. It's this Tiffany & Co little mini trinket Tiffany & Co box. And it looks like this on top. I'm trying to be really careful. It's very fragile. The lid doesn't hinge on all the way like a lot of old school kind of ceramics do. Um, it looks like this on the inside. And this one was made in Japan. And I saw a bunch online. So some of them were in Japan. A lot of them were actually. And then others didn't have the Japan logo. They just, I guess, were made in the States or something. I don't know if you can see that really good. Um, but this one, so one thing I did notice, and um, this was with any of them that I found, not even just this girl's, but all of them really, and even from Tiffany's site, is I feel like this box is more blue, and maybe the camera is like tying them together, but together better. But this is more of a like a lighter, true Tiffany blue shade. 
And this seems like a little more Robin's eggshell kind of blue borderline. Do you know what I mean? So there were some online that were like a faded teal color, like sort of more reminiscent towards this colorway, but um, they were more expensive. They weren't on sites that I had my credit on and um, they may have had like chips or dings or, or didn't look as nice or didn't have a box that it came with, which this is so dinged up a bit that it wouldn't have mattered, you know, but um, yeah, so I don't know, like, but it, in person, you know, it looks pretty on point, but there's just something, maybe it's just the age of the item or whatnot. I don't doubt that it's authentic because like I said, um, you know, I know Tiffany is sort of, they did trademark their blue eventually, you know, way back in the day, but uh, there has been variations throughout the years a bit. Um, and that's sort of a known fact, but yeah, so I got this because I thought I wanted to store like my everyday Tiffany jewels that I've been picking up and putting them in here. And it would fit with like just a necklace and maybe some earrings and a bracelet. Like my um, Return to Tiffany & Co. bracelet right here, um, the old school original toggle, you know, that would fit in there nicely. Um, but I sometimes wear a cuff with this that's not Tiffany & Co. And I don't know that, I mean, like, it's just kind of weird to have like a jewelry ballet and then have this and then kind of separate my jewelry. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Like, I don't really want to take it to my office and put like five paper clips in there. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know why I got this if it was a small. There's one on eBay that's a little bit larger, maybe like a four by six that I feel like would have been way more perfect but it was significantly more expensive. I think it was like over $200, like almost $300. And I was like, I'm not really looking to spend, I was really just trying to use my Poshmark credits, you know? Um, so I wasn't trying to really go off site, but this is really small. It is really cute. It looks way bigger on camera than it is in person. I mean, it's really like, this is a hair clip and this is that, you know what I mean? Like it's very small, like, this is a grande Starbucks and you know, it's just, <laughs> this is my cell phone and um, you know, this is the little box. I mean, and I think also like on the inside because it's got that indenture where they, they do that double layer there of the ceramic. So it gives you like a few, I don't know, millimeters or centimeters kind of off base. So the, you know, it, I don't know, I just feel like it just shortens it a bit or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it's cute. I don't even know that you'd be able to notice this in my curio cabinet over here though, because it is so small. Um, so my advice would be if you're looking for one of these, I would not pay more than like, I don't know. I guess Tiffany doesn't sell these anymore seemingly. So it depends on how much you want it. Um, if you're someone who doesn't mind the size of it, then, you know, I wouldn't pay more than $125. Maybe I would, I think a hundred is really high for it. I paid 90, what did I pay? Um, what did I pay? I think I paid 115 for this. Yeah. I think I offered her 95 and she wanted 115 as her lowest. And I think she had it marked as 125. So I bought it, I had the credits for it. Um, and you know, so if I just was wearing my bracelet, this is not a Tiffany necklace, but it's one that I've always had before I got Tiffany. And so it's basically a Tiffany necklace based on the, the design of it. These are David Yearman. So really just one bracelet that I'm wearing now, my real, my Tiffany necklace broke. So I've got to fix that. I do have other Tiffany bracelets and stuff like that, but, um, I'm not wearing them right now, like the Elsa Peretti heart uh, layered bracelet. I just am not wearing it right now. It's not something you can really layer well because it's so thin and it gets caught under things. So, um, and I'm just really feeling this right now. So if I just am wearing this, you're not gonna fit this in there and stuff, but to me, it just doesn't make sense because I'm not gonna put all the jewelry on top of one another in here. It just seems like it could be a little dangerous scratching, even though it's really just gonna sit on my nightstand and it'll be fine um so yeah a little disappointed getting home and this is it um I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it it's so small like it's so small um but yeah Tiffany and Co ceramic box more of a Robin's eggshell blue I will say but 
Okay. Maybe that's how it aged. Um, yep. So I wish I could be happier about this little thing, but I don't know. I kind of wish I could return it, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Um, I've got a lot more videos coming up. I still have got to do a video on my new bag, which is the Stella McCartney Falabella bag, the fold over tote in this gorgeous baby pink peachy color. And it's got this gorgeous silver, uh, like a a metallic silver threading that's like making it like quilted design with this metallic silver stitching on it. It is freaking gorgeous with silver hardware or I think it's like a, a rhodium or something. It's a little darker than like a silver. It's so gorgeous. Um, I cannot wait to do that and share that with you guys. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And uh, I look forward to making more videos. Bye.